एंड नामने फ्रॉम लेक्सिंग एंड कंपनी वर्किंग एज एन इंटर्न टू डेल वी टॉक अबाउट इंक्वायरी अंडर सेक्शन टू क्लॉज टी इंक्वायरी मीन्स टू आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन एंड इंक्वायरी इज अ फॉर्मल इन्वेस्टिगेशन इंक्वायरी फॉलोज अंडर द सेम पेज बट हैज़ लेवल ऑफ डिफरेंस इन इट अकॉर्डिंग टू द सी आर पी सी इट रेफर्स टू द अनदर इट इज इट रेफर्स टू सम इट रेफर्स टू द procedure that is conducted by magistrate or the court a trial in every case initiates when the inquiry ends the work of the police officer under crpc cannot be termed as an inquiry but understood as an investigation section 159 explains an order given by the magistrate or court to make a preliminary inquiry the procedure for inquiry brief of section 154 states that the police officer can only take action investigate in cases of cognizable offences on the contrary an order by a magistrate is needed to be to be investigated by the police officer in case of non cognizable offences the procedure of the preliminary inquiry under section 157 the which explains that when certain information about an offence is received by the police officer and the highlighting point of the offence is cognizable in nature the information regarding said offence is received by the police officer and he is accountable and takes it to the magistrate in his jurisdiction now what is the need for sending the report to the magistrate there are certain reasons first is as a district is under the magistrate it is a responsibility to be aware of all the crimes being committed a magistrate can supervise the investigation and inquiries of the police officer if the magistrate finds that the investigation is not being held properly he can also give direction so that the case can be disposed easily and justice can be rendered to all the magistrate after receiving the report shall take cognizance of the offence and work in person of police officer or appoint any other person not below the rank of state government who may investigate and supervise and look upon the facts and circumstances arrest the offender if it is necessary